Hello YouTube. We're on a roll today, rolling out two videos on a Saturday. The recipe for this one is called Pineapple Pepper Jam. We're going to start out with some pineapple tidbits. We're adding five cups of drained pineapple tidbits, three cups of juice. We're going to turn the stove on high <clears throat> and get this boiling. After we get it heated up, we're going to turn the fire down and we're going to bring it to what we call a rolling boil. A rolling boil is when you stir it, it continues to boil. You're not stirring the boil down. So you're going to leave this on the stove till it comes to a boil because it's got to come to a rolling boil for two minutes before we can add our sugar. I already added two cups of juice. I'm going to add one more. That'll be a total of three cups of juice. But we're going to add, we're going to use five cups of the pineapple tidbits. This is Pomona's pectin. We're going to put three teaspoons of Pomona's pectin into two cups of sugar. The reason we are incorporating the Pomona's pectin in with the sugar is if we don't, it would start clumping when we added it to our boiling mixture. So if you incorporate it well together, it's going to combine in with your cooking mixture well without having any clumps floating up to the top. When you use with Pomona's pectin, when you use <clears throat> three teaspoons of the pectin, you're also going to be using three teaspoons of their calcium water. It's the calcium water is the reactant that helps their pectin gel. So this ended up making a lot. So, you know, it, it doesn't take that much pectin of this Pomona's pectin. We're going to go ahead and get our three teaspoons of the calcium water ready. You want to have everything ready to go because this moves pretty fast when you're making jams and jellies. We've also got a cup of diced up jalapenos. I did uh, remove the seeds out of some of these jalapenos, about half. Uh, if you want it hotter, you can you can actually leave the seeds in. Uh, I'm also adding two and a half ounces or 75 milliliters of jalapeno juice, which is actually the juice for my sweet jalapenos, but if you just have regular jalapenos, you can use the vinegar mixture off of that jalapenos. It just gives it a flavor that I really think that turns out nice in your pineapple pepper jam. So we've got our 75 mLs of our vinegar from the pineapple, from the, excuse me, from the peppers to the side. We've got our sugar ready. We've got our calcium water ready. We'll have everything ready to go. I was trying to show you that it is 75 mLs. We'll have everything ready to go. You're going to have a timer going so you can watch it. Because once we've got this at a rolling boil that we can't stir down, we're going to add, it's got to stay there for two minutes at a rolling boil that we can't stir down. Then we're going to add our sugar, bring it back up to a boil again, and go ahead and put our peppers in because we've got it to a boil. Once we bring it back up to a boil, for two minutes, we're going to add our sugar. It's got to come up to a rolling boil for two minutes again. Stirring a rolling boil as you stir it, and it cannot stir it down. And then once it stays for two minutes, we're going to add our calcium water, and we'll do that again. We'll bring it back up to a rolling boil for two minutes again. We're going to go ahead and add our vinegar in. So we've got our five cups of drained pineapple tidbits, three cups of pineapple juice, a cup of chopped jalapenos, 75 mLs or two ounces of our jalapeno vinegar. I had some, I used a chopper and some of my jalapenos didn't cut up so I just took the scissors out and finished cutting them up a little bit. We're going to watch this pretty close. You never want to leave jams and jellies. They can easily boil over. It depends on what you're making. I also made some uh, great pomegranate out of some 
grates that I juiced in my Instant Pot. I actually uh, make my own steam juicer in my Instant Pot to help juice fruits down. Like we have leftover grapes. If we don't eat them all, I'll juice them down and we'll use the juice to make jams and jellies. Should have probably done a little bit better job chopping these jalapeno peppers up. But it sure is fast and nice to use a chopper. Now we had time, we had to wait for it to come up to a good bowl anyway, so what I do when I've got this going is I set a timer on the stove that I can watch. And when I get my timer set, that way when I add my sugar and it comes back up to a bowl again, I can look at that time on the timer and watch it and make sure I'm, I'm boiling at least two minutes. We've had it at a bowl for two minutes that we couldn't stir down. I took a spoon and really stirred that pectin in with the sugar real good. And we're going to stir this in well. Sure to hold on to your pot so you don't push it off of the stove. Stir it in well. Keep stirring it until it starts to boil again. That way you know you've really got this pectin mixed in real well and it's not going to clump up together. Or um, If you see some little, looks like clumps come up to the top, just take your spoon and smash them up against the side of the pot and kind of get them, try to get them dissolved to the best of your ability. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is our calcium water. After this boils for two minutes, we will then add our calcium water, boil it again for two minutes, and we're done. And we'll be jarring it up. So you need to have your, your lids hot on the stove, your rings ready, your jars clean and sterilized. I had a little bit of sugar on my spoon, so I stuck it down in there to get... Uh, all the sugar off the spoon so we utilize everything that we're putting in the mixture. Okay, we're about to start boiling again. I'm going to turn it down because I don't want it to get too hot and boil over, but you do want a steady boil that you cannot stir down. This burner on my stove is super hot. I mean, you can boil water in no time flat. We boiled our, <clears throat> got it almost up to a boil. I wanted to add a little bit of lemon juice. I always add a little bit of lemon juice to my jelly. Uh, just some things turn, some don't. I don't remember what will turn colors and what don't. So I just add a little bit of lemon juice, about a tablespoon to all the jelly I make. Uh, if you haven't tried Pomona's pectin, try it. It's one of the best sure ways to make jelly. It's a no-fail way to make jelly. Uh, you don't have to use near as much sugar if you were making this with uh, some of the ball products I've used before, like the old Sure Joe method. You have to put anywhere from six to seven cups of sugar in this for it to make jelly. Well, I don't like sugar. I like the fruit, so I want to be able to taste the fruit. When you put that much sugar in it, it overpowers the fruit, and you don't taste the fruit, you taste the sugar. Uh, with Pomona's Pectin, you can even make uh, no sugar added jellies and jams. You can use, watch my steam juicer recipe, you can juice a lot of your fruits down to where they don't need any sugar. <clears throat> All you would have to do is just add maybe like half a cup, just enough to get the Pomona's Pectin in there. I mean, that's nothing in a half a gallon of juice, half a cup of sugar. So also when you add your sugar and your pectin, once you get it stirred in, take a little bit out, put it in a glass jar, and it'll cool down real quick or blow a spoon until it cools down enough so you can taste it and see if it has enough sugar. If it doesn't have enough, at that time you add more. Your count does need to start over where it boils for two minutes with that sugar in there. So, uh, Pomona's Pectin is a great product. Since we've been using I've not had one jam or jelly fail on me. This has really been a great product for us. I just suggest it to everybody. See, I'm going to go ahead and taste it, cool it down a little bit, and make sure it's got enough sugar in it. This really has a great flavor from the peppers in it. I can't wait to use it in some jams and jellies. I would even eat this on a, 
on a pancake. <laughs> I also may have a recipe on my website or on my YouTube page. Okay, here's our calcium water. So you want to stir it up, add it to the pot, stir it in well. And once, it's probably not going to lose its oil, but I still wait till I've stirred it in completely. And I know that it's stirred in well. Then I'll look at my time and we'll start another two minute counter. Count on the time that it needs to boil. What I was going to tell you is I have another video on my uh, YouTube page for pepper jelly. It's really good. It uses uh, jalapenos and bell peppers to make a pepper jelly and it's really good. This would even be great over cream cheese. Put it over cream cheese, even you could stir it all in together and use it with it like a dip with crackers. I think that would be a great product. And that's actually what I want to try. Or you could actually just pour it over the top of it. Okay, we should be getting close with our uh, timer on our calcium water being in. And once that's in, we're going to turn the fire off. I am going to leave it on the burner. Because you want to jar your jelly as fast as you can, you want to jar it hot. Uh, I don't water bath this. I've got my lids hot. I put them on. See, we're done. We're going to cut it off. I put them on as tight as I can tighten them down. Put them to the side and they will ping and seal. Okay, it's time to start jarring it up. I didn't do too good with this. I didn't move my camera over. Sorry guys. Can't be a perfect cameraman all the time. Cooking's more important. <laughs> this actually made, I think, um, four pints and maybe two eight ounce jars. I like to make some pancakes sometimes and I go ahead and put my sausage and chop it up in it. And this pineapple jalapeno jam I think would be great on those pancakes with the sausage already in it or even eat it with biscuits. I had jalapeno jelly this morning with, with biscuits and a piece of bacon. Mom made some homemade buttermilk biscuits. Okay, sorry I messed up on the footage a little bit, but you get the uh, general idea you know how to jar up jelly. You're going to leave a half inch head space, put your hot lids and rings on, and tighten it down as tight as you can tighten it. You see how it looks? It looks great. If you haven't joined our channel, do so by clicking on the little notifications, little subscribe button, click on the notifications bell. If you liked our video, give it a little thumbs up. If there's something that you have a question about, be sure to ask. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay, stay well. Stay away from the coronavirus. This is the Pressure Prepper, and I'm out.